To begin with rabbit showmanship, you want to remove your rabbit from the carrier. Tuck him underneath your arm and lock your cage. You want to make sure that you have full control of your rabbit with his feet tucked in and his head underneath your arm before placing him on the table with the judge. When you place your rabbit on the table, you want to make sure that you have the breed's pose correct with their feet tucked in correctly and their tail pulled up. The better behaved your rabbit is, the more points you'll receive. Everyone does their routine differently. I'm going to do the same one I've used for over 25 years for Rabbit Ambassador Showmanship. How I start my routine with is checking the ears. With you being the judge, I'm just going to make sure that everything I speak about is where you can see it. So this is the rabbit's right ear and I'm checking it for any ticks or mites. I'm gonna have to pick up my rabbit and reposition it so you can see inside the left ear to make sure there are no ticks or mites. And in the left ear is the tattoo and this rabbit's tattoo is V. You wanna make sure that you read the tattoo to the judge and that it is the correct tattoo in the ear when you read it. Next step in my showmanship routine is to um, flip my rabbit over. Everyone does this a little differently on how they hold the ears. So it takes lots of practice to figure out which one works best for you. Once I flip my rabbit over, I want to make sure that I have complete control of my rabbit all the time. If I lose control of my rabbit from this position, I may lose points. The first step I do when I have my rabbit flipped over is to check its eyes. So I'm going to check its right eye to make sure it has no spots or leaking. And then I'm going to check his left eye for the same condition to make sure there's no spots of blindness or um, seepage. Then I'm gonna check his nostrils to make sure there's no mucus, this would be a sign of a cold. And you wanna make sure that the judge can see both nostrils when you're doing so. Then I'm gonna check my rabbit's teeth. This is the process that you wanna do in a one step smooth motion from behind their head. No one wants fingers coming at their mouth like this. So you wanna make sure you go from behind their head and pull down in one swoop to show both teeth. You wanna make sure that you're checking for buck or wolf teeth when you're doing so. The next step I'm going to do is a full abdominal evaluation. I'm going to start underneath the chin, which can be scary for a lot of kids, but as long as you have good control of your rabbit's head, you have nothing to worry about. You want to check underneath the chin, down over the chest, and all of the abdomen and out to the end to make sure there's no lumps or bumps. Then I'm going to check my rabbit's right leg by extending it and the left front leg by extending it to make sure it is not bent or broken. I'm going to count the rabbit's toenails on the right front foot. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, and then there is a dew claw on the front feet only. Then on the left leg and foot, one, two, three, four toenails and the dew claw. And I'm also gonna take my thumb and press on the left pad and the right pad to make sure they are not sore. I'm gonna examine my rabbit's right front inside leg and left front inside leg to make sure there's no wetness, which also could be a sign of a cold that may not show from mucus in their nose currently. I'm going to move to the right back leg and extend it to make sure it is not bent or broken. I'm going to check their pad and on the back foot their hawk to make sure it is not sore. Then I'm gonna count the toenails on the back right foot one, two, three, four. There is no dew claw on the back feet. I'm gonna extend the left rear leg to make sure it is not bent or broken. Check the pad with my thumb and the hock to make sure there are no sores. We're going to count the toenails. One, two, three, four. There are no dew claws on those back feet. I'm going to check the rabbit's tail to make sure it is straight and does not have rye tail or show signs of being broken. To do so, I'm gonna move it back and forth. If it goes back into the straight position, we know that their tail is in good condition. I'm going to sex my rabbit. By doing so, I'm going to take my two fingers. I'm going to use my thumb and my middle finger for to hold the tail, and I'm gonna use my pointer finger to expose the gender of my animal. This rabbit is a doe or a female. And with the does, you need to make sure that you examine the vents on the side to make sure there is no vent disease. And she is clean and good to go.
Once I finish the exam on the underside, I'm going to repose my rabbit. Make sure it is the breed's pose again that fits for that breed that you have. I'm going to show the judge all four sides of my rabbit. This being the rabbit's right side. And again, make sure that you have their feet and tail correctly, the front side. The left view. And the rear view. Once I've completed this, I'm going to reposition my rabbit on the table so you can see a side view. It doesn't matter which side, it's whichever is comfortable for you. You need to do a full body evaluation of your rabbit, starting with their head size. Do you feel that it is appropriate for the breed, going up over their shoulders, their rib cage, um, the loin area, and their rump? You need to judge each section of your rabbit. And again, not all rabbits are perfect, so it is completely fine to say that they may be weak in their loin area, they may have bony hips. It is completely fine to give your rabbit a full and complete evaluation. Before I am done with my demonstration on my showmanship with the judge, I also need to do a fur evaluation. So you want to make sure that you um, move the rabbit's fur correctly for the breed, whether it's rollback, flyback. If it's a wool breed or a hair breed, you need to make sure that you know how to explain that to the judge. And you also want to check texture and density by blowing into the fur. If your breed has certain rings or colors that we're looking for, it is also appropriate to mention what you're looking for to the judge. Once I have completed all of these processes, I need to lift my rabbit again, make sure their head is tucked under my elbow. I have one hand and arm supporting their body and their feet. I have to unlock my cage and then place my rabbit carefully back into the carrier and lock the cage. And that completes the health check portion of your showmanship for Rabbit Ambassador.